Mason with a box win. McGregor lands early. Pressure right off the bat by Connor. He's trying to force the shot out of Khabib with pressure. Khabib got a hold of his ankles. He's got his leg. And what he's got to do is get his left leg over the back ankle of Khabib's right leg. Khabib looking to complete the takedown, and he gets it. Man. Connor gets right up to the cage. Let's see if he can get back up to his feet. It's one of the big questions. And it's, it's something that you see him do against every single guy he fights. He exactly the start that Khabib Nurmagomedov was looking for in round one. Every mixed martial arts round begins on the feet. Let's see how it goes here early round two. Oh! Massive right from Nurmagomedov! And a knee from McGregor! Wow! What an entry by Nurmagomedov, and now he has McGregor up against the fence. Four plus minutes with which to work. And this is what Khabib has done at his knees. Oh! It's just ferocious. I mean, he's the best round of pound artist in the sport. McGregor forced to just cover up. Nurmagomedov with a huge second round, likely a 10. Khabib to the body. He doesn't seem to fear the power coming back from McGregor as yet. You know. This is all not what Khabib does. Right. This is outside mm -hmm. of his his. If you look at his standard behavior, he's very respectful. I mean, he's never had an uh, incident like this ever in a fight. All of his fights before that are him shaking his opponent's hand, doing the standard stare down, standard stuff, talking about his skill set and what he's going to do. And there's no disrespect. There's no insults. There's none yeah. of this. Connor's. That's what he does. Yeah. He talks shit to people and fucks with their head. I mean, it's, it's a giant part of his game. And I know that that was Khabib on top of Connor beating the shit out of him, going, let's talk now. Have you seen that video? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. fucking terrifying. Yeah, it is. It's like, come on, let's talk. Bam! And he's just slamming him. It Bam! Is. All right, and I'm beating the fuck out of you. That's what we're going to talk. And that's what he did. And talking to whomever, the referee, his opponent, round four. Good entry by Nermago Menon McGregor trying to use the fence to his advantage. Trip right down. Too good. I mean, it's a big part of his grappling. It's not just grappling with his arms, but utilizing his legs for control. Big left hands from Nurmago Medov. No illegal knee on the ground by Connor. Oh. A knee to the head of a downed opponent. That was an illegal knee uh, on the head of a grounded opponent. Shut up, Joe, you little fool, yeah. What are you talking about? Smash this and smash that. What was smashed? My knee into his fucking eye socket, yeah? Sake. That's a knee to a grounded opponent. Call the cops. <laughs> want to stop after Connor had tapped. Like, he was holding on to him. And he's letting him know, hey, motherfucker, like, this is real. This is not just shit talking. There it goes, the ego! Oh no! Total chaos here, it looks like UFC security has corralled Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, Khabib wasn't kidding when he said no handshake after the fight. Professionalism, but it is the fight game to this an is, extent. This is hard. It can get nasty. It's this not, is the nastiest I've ever seen. Yeah, this, this is, is not how you want it to be horrible. in this sport. This is not how we want it. Tell us in your words, what caused you to, to jump over the cage and, and to go after uh, Connor's team? Like, I don't understand how people can talk about I jump on the cage, you know? What about he talk about my religion? He talk about my country? He talk about my father? 
Like they call him two-time world champion, like two weight classes. But today he tapped. And that's why, alhamdulillah, undisputed, undefeated. Oh! oh. And now what if Nurmagomedov teammates throws a right-handed cutter? All oh, hell has broken loose! This is crazy. There's guys who can fuck your face up without even going under the neck. You're gonna tap, bitch. <laughs> Don't say you're not gonna tap. You're gonna fucking tap. I And Connor was saying to him, this is just business, it's just business, and he's like, let's talk now, let's talk now. Like, he, he's like, this is not business to him. Mm -hmm. So to him, he, no, he did not tap premature. Um, he did not defend it, though. Okay. Here's the deal, he was done. He was beaten down, Khabib fucked him up, Khabib smashed him. But there was a lot of people that don't train, and this was very frustrating to me. Okay. There was many people that don't train that think that that was something that you shouldn't tap to. Right. They're they're out of their fucking mind. Okay, that okay. is what's called a fulcrum choke. That's okay. Okay, and it's it's not necessarily a choke, but it is. It chokes you, but it it really feels like your fucking head's gonna pop off. Right. What he's doing is he's wrapping around the face, and you don't have to even go under the jaw. You can right. get it on the chin, especially if you're as strong as Khabib. Then you clamp your hands together, and you're pressing your forearm yeah. against his back. So you've got this, and Khabib is so right. strong. His gra he's been grappling since he was a baby. Right. All of his muscles are designed to squeeze. We have current UFC and Bellator lightweight champions. Amazing. Time ago, when one guy was talking about we're here to take over, but we're here to take over. Like I said, styles make fights. Every fight is a different fight. You know what I mean? Whether someone has m multiple wins or multiple losses. You know what I mean? F every fight between every man is different. Come back and let's go again, my man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, Dana, so, Dana did say it's not. That's the... fighting talk. So if he's not, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're, if you're coming back, come back. <laughs> you try and do it. You know what I mean? So that's that. I was, uh, I was preparing for war, you know, mm -hmm. I come inside the cage, I fight with this guy and he tap, I'm like, why I come here, why I train so hard for this, like, you're gonna tap, like, easy like this, you know, I just take his chin, you know, it's like, he tap, like, uh, this, this one make me upset too. You know. Doesn't smoke, doesn't fuck around, doesn't abuse his body, always fit, always in shape, always training, and lives like a champion. Mm. And it's like very religious, like very devout Muslim, like doesn't, I think that doesn't helps. fuck. Oh yeah, he's it's so dis disciplined. No yeah. partying. He's not partying, he's not doing coke and banging hoes. There's none of that. <laughs> he's just smashing people. Yeah. You know, but I think he's, they're trying to talk him into having more fights. Right. But he told his mother that he was going to retire after he fought Gaethje. Yeah, I remember seeing that. But you know what, man? He's in his prime, and you only get one prime. Yeah. And you know, and as what more can he the prove, most though? dominant man in the sport? Yeah. We knows like when I go, like I talk with him, he give me this excuse. Oh, this is like just only business. Everything like okay. When well, real thing is not with bus, you know, when two hundred security around, like camera, everything. This is real thing. You know, it's like I was like I would think I was preparing for real war. You know, when I come there, I don't find nobody. You know, this is make me, like, put me like in emotional. You know, make me emotional because I don't find nothing. Yeah. I was expecting more. 